Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over what we know so far about the Kenobi show. So if you're new to Star Wars or you just don't know that much about the Kenobi okay. show and what we can get from it, then hopefully this video will provide some clarity. So the Kenobi show will take place 10 years after Revenge of the Sith. It will comprise of six total episodes, the least amount of episodes of any Disney Plus show that we've gotten so far. Mando had, I believe, eight and Book of Boba Fett had seven. So this will have six and each episode allegedly... Now, this is a rumor from a while ago. Each episode will be one hour long at least, which to me is really great. You know, this beats having a 38 minute episode or 42 minute episode, which is like the usual runtime of the episodes of Boba or Mando with the odd occasion that one is over an hour long or close to it. So this essentially will be like a six hour movie. That being said, since it is a show, it obviously won't be as condensed as a movie would in its two and a half hour runtime. The show will come out May 25th, comprising of six episodes, one hour each in length, and takes place 10 years after Revenge of the Sith, and 10 years before Episode 4, A New Hope. Now, May 25th, if you didn't know, is the same day that Episode 4 came out in theaters when George Lucas gave the entire world Star Wars for the first time back in 1977. The show will focus on two main characters, Obi-Wan Kenobi, played by Ewan McGregor, and Darth Vader, played by Hayden Christensen. Now, of course, Hayden won't be in the suit the whole time, if at all, really, but we do know that Hayden Christensen will have a prominent role in the show in the form of flashbacks, most likely. And if we get to see Vader out of his suit, or maybe, you know, with the helmet off, then, of course, that'll be Hayden Christensen's face as well. Now, on this channel, I like to think I focus on all things Star Wars new and old. However, if I do have a favorite, and if there is one centric focal point, it is the prequels. I was born in 1990. I was introduced to Star Wars Episode 4, 5, and 6 when I was six years old. And then when the prequels came out in theaters, I was there for all of them. So the prequels for me were like how some of the sequels is for you guys. Except, of course, this one was created by George Lucas and it was the triumphant return to the original trilogy. It was a very big deal at the time. I feel if there's one avenue of Star Wars that I know the best, it is the prequels. And if there's one character I know the best, it's Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader. So my level of expectation for the show is through the roof and my level of interest for the show is unlike any other show or Star Wars product that has been released since Revenge of the Sith. I am unbelievably excited to have watch parties with you, to do breakdowns, to cover videos and topics and theories. So for the next three months, I will be focusing heavily on a lot of prequel content as well as other content, but mainly prequel content, just like, well, kind of all the other years, I guess. I hope you're excited and will join me for the ride. I can't wait for the Kenobi show to drop. I hope this gave you a bit of an insight on what to expect six episodes, 10 years after Revenge of the Sith, dropping May 25th and starring Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen. I'm going to leave you with that for now. I will see you in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, remember, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, the Force will be with you always.